On June 13th, the Public Health Ministry issued an audit banning trans fat after World Health Organization WHO asked countries worldwide to completely banish this food ingredient from the entire food supply. Welcome to Thailand Today program on NBT World. Today we have Dr. Sai Yan Rudreu. He's the Food and Drug Technical Officer, professional level of the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, under the Ministry of Public Health. He will discuss with us why Thailand has joined the international community to eliminate trans fats. Swadika. Swadika. Welcome back to Thailand Today program, sir. Thank you. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Well, so Dr. Sai Yan, well, today is a topic of uh, what you call yeah. a talk of the town a hot topic in right. Thailand. In yes. Thailand, because we everybody seems to no, no, we are not eating this, we are not eating that. Right. So, trans fat. So right. tell us, to, um, uh, what is the primary aim of food uh, and uh, drug administration to have a strict controls, uh, control of the trans fat? Right. So first of all, I have to be clear that mm. uh, the Thai FDA doesn't actually ban mm. trans fat itself. Oh. But the new regulation we ban partially hydrogenated oil uh, or PHO in short I see. Uh -huh. in food production. So oh. actually we ban the source of the trans the fat. The source of it. The source of the uh -huh. trans fat. Uh -huh. So therefore the new regulation prescribed that PHO itself or the PHO containing foods uh -huh. are prohibited to oh. produce, sell and import it to Thailand. Oh, okay. So okay. the aim is to eliminate the sort of trans fat. This, uh -huh. So we hope that we're going to reduce the disease related to the trans fat, uh -huh. which is the cardiovascular disease. Yeah. Yeah. That is the main aim of uh -huh. this new regulation. Uh -huh. so, so that particular partially yes. is in the everything? Is in the every oil? No, it's not. It's artificial. Oh, it's all artificial. Yeah, PHO is the artificial mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. So, in general, the oil produced from plants such mm. as corn, ah. soybean, ah. palm oil yeah, that's doesn't real. have a trans fat. That, that's, that's the natural Natural one. Trans, that's real. Natural thing. Uh -huh. So, scientists put some hydrogen atom. Uh -huh. Do you know hydrogen atom? Uh -huh. It's in the air. Yeah, the air. Yeah, put the hydrogen atom to increase some uh, melting point. So, it can resist to heat and can be used at a high temperature to use in the deep fried food, for oh, example. roti or, you yes. know, where we yes. see psh, pah, yes. a lot of it. But besides that, oh. the hydro, uh, partially hydrogenation will mm. create a trans fat mm. that called a health problem. Why is it so cheap, doctor? Pardon? That is so cheap. So, so cheap. The, the uh, it's not actually not safe. That's the misunderstood of the people. The PSO have to be ordered from abroad. Really? They cannot be produced in Thailand. But what about they're selling in, in not very expensive? Uh, actually, uh, I would say the PHO is quite expensive and used just in the large industry level. Okay. Uh, but the local produced food or fat, uh -huh. it is not PHO. They use the blending technology. They yeah, make several kinds of so. oils and make it cheap. And the property of the blending oil uh -huh. with the PSO is quite uh -huh. similar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. So that's why we ban the PSO, but the blending we still allowed mm. to use and mm. it's cheaper. That's why, as we can see, it's so not so expensive. So as trans fat acids might cause the health effects that you said, yes. um, vascular disease, how to avoid it? Uh, now today, I would say most of food producers in Thailand mm -hmm. already modify their food recipes not to use the PHO. Okay. And also they trans, uh, they change the production technology okay. to use the alternative technology such as vacuum frying. Uh -huh. So no need to use PHO anymore. Oh, yeah. uh, therefore, I would say trans fat in Thai food is very low, oh. very low level. So uh -huh. in fact, consumer doesn't need to do anything to avoid the trans fat. Eat? Yes, Go ahead. yes. Really? They just carry on their normal <laughs> life. <laughs> no panicking. <laughs> but I, I uh, have to give this information to you. Uh, yeah, please. The trans fat can be formed naturally. Yes. In milk, butter, cheese. Uh, That's the natural, natural products yeah. contain uh. very, very low of trans fat. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh. it doesn't have any effect on your mm. health. Mm. But 
Some food producer will display the trans fat on the labeling. Some bakeries company will display that on the nutrition labeling. So uh, if you really, really want to avoid trans fat, you uh, may read at the nutrition labeling uh, on the food packaging. Uh, uh, that's the way to avoid. But don't worry too much about the trans fat in food sample. Not to worry about, but uh, again, uh, so, so but do you see the, 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 the reduced, but, but you said um, the, the disease is creating, yeah, I mean. Uh, I, I say about cardiovascular disease, right? Yes. That's uh, the effect of the trans fat consumption. Of the trans fat consumption. So trans fat will. So they already changed, you said? Yes. Yeah. yes ah, they yes. already have a yes. different, different way of this. Uh, uh, why did they change it? They came to know about this, that is. Uh, uh, yes, at the very beginning, the trans fat is under the debate from Ooh. the food industry oh. and the uh, food control, uh -huh. whether it's risk or benefit. And now mm -hmm. today there are the clear evidence showing that trans fat has caused the cardiovascular disease mm. by increasing Any others, uh? cardiovascular uh, only disease. Ca only cardiovascular uh, disease. Any other ca Cardiovascular disease, disease is a group Diabetes? of disease. No, no, oh, no. Oh, that leads to others. Yes, yes. Heart disease. Heart disease. The, uh, blood vessels, <sighs> disease, uh, stroke as well. That's oh. the cardiovascular disease. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Because trans fat can induce the what we call LDL cholesterol, oh. which is the bad guy, oh. if you ever know about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another cholesterol which is good is the HDL cholesterol. A HDL? HDL uh, is uh -huh. the good guy, uh -huh. and LDL is the bad guy. The bad guy. <laughs> and trans fat will induce the LDL, which uh, is the bad one. Uh, uh, so the more LDL in your body mm. will increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Mm. So we cut off the cause of mm. the risk factor of mm. cardiovascular disease mm. by inhibition of use of PHO. And we hope to reduce the trans fat in the food. Mm -hmm. And that could reduce the, uh, the dead rate mm. from Muscular, cardiovascular cardiovas disease. Mm. That's the Heart subsequent of, this of these regulations. Oh, I see. This is the Ministry of Public Health that found this. Yes. That this is a cause of yes. particular disease. Yes. Yes. Mm. yes. Interesting. So could you please some some examples of the partially hydrogenated the PHO that we talk about? Yes. 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 Uh, in in oil products. Now as the no more use of PSO in the no, country. Not at all? Not at all in Thailand. Oh, really? Right. But this is good to know. If it was three years ago, they may use some PSO, and it is very popular in margarine and shortening. Oh. Therefore, the food containing margarine and shortening okay, will yeah. contain the PSO and trans fat, okay. such as pie, pub pastry, uh -huh. biscuits, yeah. and also the deep fried foods, such as a donut. Oh. And those kind of food that you need a very crispy at the outside and soft in the middle. Ah. Or you need the golden brown skin. Those food will contain the PHO. Oh. The PHO do the job perfectly, mm. but sadly it's not good for our health. And it's a bad guy. It's a bad guy. It's a bad guy, good test, but <laughs> it's hard to go. <laughs> no more in Thailand. Uh -huh. No more? That means zero? Uh, or they have somebody not actually, to do because it? This regulation just published last two weeks. Right? Yes, so you yes. said no more in the two weeks, they already yeah. abolished for that? Published, but it will come into force next year, the 9th oh. of January. Okay. That will be no more PHO oh. in the market. Oh. Oh. Totally. But totally. How about other countries? Maybe I like to, um, because sometimes we go to other countries, we bought it. You I know, would say we, we, we buy go something ahead back. Other, other huh? countries. We buy something back. Yeah. So this is a good All tool. over the world are the same, uh, same opinion in Thailand. Oh. Right. In USA, they banned PHO since three years ago. Mm. In okay. the EU countries, there is no actually the PHO ban regulation. But at the country levels of the EU members, mm -hmm. some country set up the maximum limit of the trans fat in foods. Mm. Uh -huh. But they're still under the discussion mm -hmm. at the EU level. Mm -hmm. And Japan, they have their regulation regarding labeling of the trans fat. Oh, oh. So if you produce and you detect the trans fat in your products, they, you have to put that on labeling and consumer design. 
Better to eat or not. Yes, mm. yes, yes. I value. Leave it other so decisions. So I would say our country is go beyond us, the country. We really? are the lead in the food safety. Look at that. In this aspect. Wow. It, right. It is so good to hear confirmation from the from uh, officer from the Ministry of Food uh, of the of Public Health because this is Thailand stand a better chance of uh, getting um, well uh, health safety in terms of. Uh, Fats and on kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so from today, after listening to you, and we can go and buy yes. everything, donuts yes. and everything yes. on the as usual. Just enjoy yourself. A enjoy. The enjoy, but your be careful with the saturated fat. Ah, uh. but 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 no man will know about uh. the saturated fat. <laughs> you can read on the labeling. Please read. No, but but some of the like um, donut selling, there's right. a it's a store like uh, that right. we don't know. How do they? Um, I would say you have to eat the balanced diet. This day you may have donut. Uh -huh. Tomorrow you should have fruits. Ah, okay. uh, and that next can help. Day, yes, oh. yes. <laughs> Doctor confirm on this. Right. Very good. So any significant effect? on the daily life of the general public from, the, from this band? Actually, it, it should not cause any negative impact on the public. Ah. But if you may say on the Facebook, social media, or so news, mm. two weeks ago, mm. there was a kind of panicking around our country. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, as you mentioned at the uh, very beginning, uh. what can I eat? <laughs> so one of the most concerns I have found uh. on the Facebook is uh. whether the food price will increase. If uh. FDA ban the sort Will of they? this fat, yeah, uh, I would say no. No, as huh? actually we started project three years ago okay. by survey around the country. But uh, if we have this regulation to ban the fat, can the food industry use alternative source of technology? And uh. is it possible to produce the food that consumer can still enjoy? with the delicious food. So now today, I'm going to say yes, it's ready, the industry ready. Uh -huh. So that's why we have the regulation in this year. Uh -huh. So we start three years ago, try to eliminate the PHO. Uh -huh. So don't worry, uh -huh. no increase in any cost of food. Besides that, in terms of food trade, mm -hmm. we are uh, the exporting country of food to mm. the world or mm. kitchen of the world. Mm. So we have yeah. the concern for the consumer in other, other, country other countries and too. Well. So okay. I forgot to tell you that yeah. food produced for export has been banned from using the PSO as well. So even though you produce and totally sell to other countries, we also ban using PSO because we concern Ooh. the consumer oh. in other countries as country. well. Show tie to the world, a concept of Siam style program to introduce you to well-known Thai role models. Ultimate amazing tourist attractions. Innovative Thai products. Let's proudly join Siam styles from four regions. 77 provinces across Thailand. Oh, the working heart of the uh, Ministry of Public Health. Yes. You sent somebody out to survey on this matter? Yes. Interesting. Yes, three years ago with the cooperation with the Mahidon University. I see. Professor Visit Jawasit do nice. some research to back up nice. these regulations and Lovely. we work hard with the public sector, consumer ah. organization and also from the industrial part mm -hmm. and then we have this conclusion we should ban this PSO because we're ready mm -hmm. to go ahead with the food safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that's can make you, they didn't feel about it sir? I mean the, the shops, the sailors, uh, the, how do yes. you solve the, the, the reaction to that? One of our requirements, I, I, I have to say, is communication because... We lack of communication. We lack of communication <laughs> because uh, we, we 
didn't expect the reaction from the public mm -hmm. as it was because uh -uh. we just published the regulation mm -hmm. and now <laughs> it's boom. No, no, the thing <laughs> is, the thing is, because our in Thailand people do care about uh, health uh, né, because as we are approaching the aging society, we are so right. mm, our elderly right. will eat uh, something bad, you know, yeah. and and that caused yeah. sickness but that we don't the want. The positive to. viewpoint from this case is the thing. We, it is increase the public awareness on food safety mm -hmm. and people call us what about the trans fat and what kind of other fat does it have any effect on the health so mm -hmm. we like we love to answer those questions oh, for nice. consumers so just uh, call us if you have any question ah so what is the number that they should call uh, you fda hotline 1556 you can ask whether you buy something in your in front of you when yes. you can ask, well, here it is, take yes. photograph and send to yes. you. Yes. Okay, yes, that's great. That's right. great. Okay, so your suggestion to consumers who are concerned, yeah, we're talking about that now, yes. the products might contain artificial trans fat or who are some over concern as, as we discussed yeah. about this. <laughs> yes, again, uh, no more uh, PHO no more. in the food products in Thailand. Uh. So. They don't need to concern anything, but yeah. for those who still worry about the trans fat mm -hmm. that might uh, form naturally in mm -hmm. milk, butter, and cheese, as I said, mm -hmm. so the maximum level of, of the trans fat allowed in your food, as recommended by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States, United mm -hmm. Nation or mm -hmm. FAO, FAO huh? and the World Health Organization recommend that should not exceed one percent of total energy a day and if you need 2,000 calories a day so trans fat should not exceed 1% of those ah. 2,000 calories and ah. it's, it's quite tri tricky uh, to tricky. understand no, <laughs> so no, no. it's calculated to be grams of food which is not more than two grams of oh. trans fat okay. in the whole meal of your oh, one, day, a day one day uh -huh. yeah so two grams is really huge in oh, terms of scientific uh -huh. so the natural occurring of trans fat in food very very low than two grams mm. so you can enjoy your food don't worry about this it's still under the recommendation of the world health organization uh, right. so i wonder because uh, well, well we should be concerned about thailand but uh, but the number of the patients that uh, concerned by medical to, or personnel uh, a lot so if we if we talk about trans fat, we should look at the dead rate of the mm. cardiovascular disease, which mm. is one of the major deaths in Thailand. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. And the cause of cardiovascular disease is uh -huh. not just only mm. from the trans fat consumption, but mm. also from your lifestyle mm -hmm. or your habits, mm. whether you smoke, your mm. drinks, mm. alcohol, mm. how often you have the exercise a day, so all of those factors combine together to be the risk factor of cardiovascular disease. Mm. So what we can do now, we try to minimize those risk factors and mm. trans fat is the one mm. that we eliminate because we don't need it in our industry. So we just ban it. Mm. And the rest, you have to change your lifestyle. You have to do more exercise in mm. your daily life. You may reduce alcoholic beverage Mm. drink mm. you may stop smoke and we that don't rely that yes we talk about fat yes <laughs> <laughs> and those kind it is quite complex yeah, yeah, factors yeah, yeah. combined together let us narrow now because right. this is the layman i'm talking about layman <laughs> people on around uh, to listen to this um we, we narrow down like margarine margarine yes margarine. it's okay yes it's okay because Previously, margarine was produced by PHO, mm -hmm. as I said. Mm -hmm. But now so they, they use other technology to produce margarine, such oh, really? as they mix palm oil it's with other kind of oil oh. to make the specific property that you need. Oh, so different kind of oil have different property. Milling okay. poi, boiling poi, exactly. smoking poi. Uh -huh. If you ever go into the kitchens and uh -huh. you uh, do the deep fries and you will see a lot of smoke. Uh -huh. That's because smoking poi. So the good oil for fry should have the high smoking poi. So should, the palm oil, if you use the palm oil uh -huh. to do the deep fry, uh -huh. you won't see any smoke. Oh, and it can use for a long period of time. Mm. But if you use the soybean oil, 
which is a very low milling point, mm -hmm. you will have a lot of smoke come mm. out. Yeah. So they mix two together okay. to get something at the middle that uh. you need. For example, if you need the chocolate that melts in your mouth, but not yeah. melt in your pocket. Uh -huh. So you may mix. <laughs> That's quite food technology <laughs> class. <laughs> interesting. Really so interesting. you mix yeah. the palm oil into uh. that instead of margarine. Yeah. And you may add some canola seed oil, uh, some butter mm. to make it melt in your mouth, mm. not in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of use margarine, yeah. previously they may use margarine to make in chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we call oil blending technology. Uh -huh. And you need the expert in fat and oil uh -huh. to do that. Mm. So for another alternative, you may make other chemical reaction mm. to change the structure mm. of the oil. It's so clever that's to do te so. <laughs> technology. Oh my God. Uh, or you can add hydrogen, but it should be fully hydrogenation, mm. not partially hydrogenation. Mm. To PSO is partially hydrogenation, you add atom of hydrogen just mm. to be some part of the molecule of the oil, not mm. fully hydrogenation. Mm. So if you use hydrogenation, it has to be fully hydrogenation. Mm. That's the alternate process. So margarine shortening, shortening yes. can be still found in the market, mm -hmm. but those are not from the PSO production. Okay. Right. So manageable, can eat. Yes. Yes. So go ahead. All right. So any trans fat alternative? Did we talk about it for food yes. and okay. yes. Now, How the general public and the country will be beneficial from the order of being uh, um, trans fat? Of course, as the Food Safety Authority, our ultimate goal is to protect consumer health. Mm -hmm. And besides that, in terms of food trade, mm -hmm. we are uh, the exporting country of food to mm. the world or mm. kitchen of the world. Mm. So we have yeah. the concern for the consumer in other country, country, country and so on. So I forgot to tell you that yeah. food produced for export has been banned from using the PSO as well. So even though you produce and totally sell to other country, we also ban using PSO because we concern Ooh. the consumer oh. in other country other as country. well. Ah. And we hope this measure is going to show the world that Mm. Food safety is our priority, mm. not for only our people, but for the but world. The the and world. this should increase the trust for the importing country and mm. should generate more income mm. for our country. And this could be the indirect benefit to mm. our society. Mm. Right. That show that um, uh, the Ministry of Health of Thailand is really um, have concern over um, eating every points. Uh, even in and out of the country, yes. still caring about that matter. This is great. Um, so, so when will the ban of hydrogenated fats and oil items be effective? And how to prevent violations right. of the ban? So the regulation, which is officially, it should be called the Ministry of Public Health Notification mm. number 388 mm. okay. of the 2018 regarding prohibition of the PSO uh -huh. using in food production. Yes, sir. And we published uh, at the 13th of July this year. Okay. And we have the transition period for six months for food industry mm -hmm. to prepare for the change. So this regulation shall come into force next year on the 9th of January. 9th of January. So mm -hmm. after this regulation mm -hmm. came into force, Mm. next year. So we prepare the food monitoring program to inspect the food factory to see whether it's they uh, comply with the regulation. Mm. If it's not, we're going to take the legal action. I want to hear what is the violation of the legal uh, action of the ban. The violation is can be jailed for six months Only? to twelve to a year. <laughs> two a year in jail. Too little. <laughs> <laughs> you are the cook and you have to go to the jail for six months, that's, <laughs> that's bad enough for them. Or you uh, will be fined from 5,000 to 20,000 bahts. Uh -huh, uh, so uh, depend on the depend on serious. Or uh, uh, well, seriousness. The seriousness. Uh, how many many times if you repeatedly uh, or something? Yes, yeah? yes, oh, yes. Oh, oh. And we also check at the end of the food chain, which is at the market. Uh -huh. We will go to pick up the food sample and Ooh, analyze for trans yeah. fat. Yeah. And if we found a really mm -hmm. high amount of trans fat in mm -hmm. food, so mm -hmm. that means it's possibly PHO may be used in the food factory. Mm -hmm. So we'll trace back yeah. to the food factory and take a legal action. 
with those the illegal production. Remember one five five six there for your question. You can have any question ask, and they have somebody answer there. Right. right. Wish you all the best uh, right, for being you. here and thank you for being here. We end up our program with thanks to Dr. Sayan Ruodreo. He's a food and drug technical officer, professional level of the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, under the Ministry of Public Health. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching Thailand today and hope to see you again. Thank you.